for the time has come. I fail. I win. I fail. I fail again. I fail even more. Why even bother? The time has not come. Welcome to World 2, everybody. In this level, we're going to be playing as Toadstool, who has probably the most unique ability of any of the characters in that. If you hold down the jump button, we can fly or hover. And with the combination of the run button, you can really just glide past these levels, no problem. Just keep on going. And this game is also... Well, it was kind of the case in the original Mario game, but the worlds are definitely more themed in this game. This world is all about the desert. The last world was all about the grassy lands. So, I mean, it was kind of the case in the original Mario. Like, the first world was like a basic one. And, uh... I mean, that was about it. Uh, there was one world where it was snowy for most of the levels. But there wasn't much of a theme that followed each world. Because sometimes there would be, like, water levels and ground levels and such. But, uh... Oh... Yes, and this is one of the sections that plays the desert areas, is you gotta dig down a lot, and Peach, while she has by far the best ability of the flight, she digs incredibly slowly. And so that makes this section a lot harder with her, which is why we're gonna be picking Toad in the next level, just to make things a bit easier. Oh, this is bad. Oh no, oh no. I don't know how I'm alive, or how I avoided damage. I'm, I'm alive because I have two health, I'm fine. Okay, there we are. To the Birdo boss fight. Another Birdo. And the creds of this game call this character Ostro, and a different character Birdo, which we'll encounter at some point in World 4. Or was it World 3? I don't know. But they call this character Ostro, but... I mean, everything ever has called this character Birdo from this point on, including the Mario series itself. As well as... potentially people who play this in the day? I don't know. I mean, I wasn't alive then. Hey, look at that, two lives. We're up to ten now. So like I said, Toad is the best digger, so we're gonna be using Toad. Please don't take me saying digger out of context and like replacing the fur. Anyway, Toad in this level, he's not as good as jumping over these uh, snake pots. And th yeah, as you can see, because of his small jump, that's a bit of an issue. But luckily, Toad can move real fast. I don't know. Also, I think there's a mechanic in this game where if you kill enough enemies, then you'll get a uh, heart will spawn up. And I'll, you'll see that occasionally, just a random heart will fly up and you'll wonder, what's that about? And I think it has to do with how many enemies you kill, otherwise, why would they have so many sections like the, this, that pipe down there, where you just are given an enemy to kill? It doesn't really make sense. Now we're throwing pumpkins. I don't know what the difference is, inherently. Yeah, hey, look, there's another section where we just given a turtle shell, or Koopa shell, and we just kill them, and that's it. Although, even though there are Koopa shells in this game, no Koopa Troopas, most of the original enemies are gone. In fact, I think all of them are. I don't think there's a single enemy returning, which is interesting. And this is actually a section where Toad's inherent jump can't get him up there, even with a bit of run-up. Oh, uh-oh. So we gotta use a super jump. And we gotta be fast. Also, it should be noted to- Alright, I beg your pardon, shy guy. Talk about shy, he just walked over and hit me. He's got no chill. Anyway, Toad in this game is blue instead of the red palette he had in the original Super Mario Bros. game. And it's kind of interesting how he's adopted both in his more modern design, where he has a blue vest on, but he's got the red uh, head. And in some cases, Blue Toad has been his own character in, like, the new Super Mario Bros. games. He's been... You know, appearing as, uh, was it the Player 3 or Player 4? One of the two. Actually, I believe when I first played this game, I didn't know the super jump was a thing, so I thought I just got trapped down here and you had to play as Luigi, because he's got a higher jump. But the super jump is the key. Oh, very nice combo there. And see, the heart comes up after killing a bunch of enemies. Oh, we got a Pokey, who's just a weird cactus guy. These guys are actually kind of annoying if there is no way to go under them. Because if you just got a flat plane and you gotta deal with them, it's kind of annoying how their projectiles go up where you would normally want to jump over them. But again, if you can go under them, that's not an issue. And Toad's digging did not help him in the slightest, apparently. <laughs> Come on, Toad. 
Keep digging, Toad. Oh. Oh, wait. Isn't one of these sides not the right way to go? Oh, one of these sides is enemies. You know what? I'm gonna go the other way. Because the Sniffet's bullets don't actually go through the wall, so I'm completely safe over here. There are a lot of enemies, which is causing some lag. Oh, and yes, okay. The, 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 I have to go the other way. Uh, okay. <laughs> this, the, all these sections are a little confusing with where the enemies come up from the ground and how the Sniffet's bullets work. And, and another issue I have with these parts is when you jump by to get past some shy guys or something, you constantly will shift the screen and it can be disorientating or annoying. Oh dear. And you can't always see when the shy guys are coming. I just don't like these sections in general. Can you tell? I mean, I think this game's alright. Some people don't like this game at all just because how weird it is compared to the original Super Mario Bros. game. I think this game has its qualities. I don't think it's as good as the original, but it has some qualities to it. It's kind of fun. Oh man. We just gotta go back and forth with this part, don't we? Go for it! Okay. <laughs> and boss time. Now, fighting Birdo with Toad... Oh, never mind. So this Birdo is slightly different in that they sometimes shoot eggs and sometimes shoot fireballs. And did that hit me? I think it did. Oh my. But uh, like I said, these these uh, this Birdo, the red one, sometimes shoots eggs and sometimes shoots fireballs. And you can't really predict when they're going to shoot what, so sometimes you want to use these mushroom stools instead of the eggs in order to attack Birdo. That or you can just hope you get lucky and not bother bringing a mushroom platform up here in the first place. Because you do kind of want their help in getting there without using the super jump, that is. And that's kind of the downside to the super jump, is that it goes up really high, but it also means you have to stay in there crouching, which means you essentially get no momentum. Alright, we got one extra life. Uh, I'm gonna go with Mario. He's just the basic character. Why not? I generally find myself playing as Mario in this game, if not Toadstool. And I keep switching between Toadstool and Peach. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Actually, don't remember... Oh, yes, 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 okay. Let's try to super jump off of one of these guys. I believe they're called Bezos or something. Or should I have been Luigi? I gotta go get one of these guys at the perfect angle to where I can jump off of the That was it! That was the perfect angle right there. It's too low. That's too low as well. Oh, that was good too. Uh, oh, can I not jump when I'm on top of them? Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, that's not enough! Then I guess I can't make it up there. I don't think I can anyway. Oh, do I have to? I might have to. I don't remember this level if you can't tell. Oh wait, no, is this a rocket? Or it's a clock? Do I just keep going this way? I'm a fool, I just keep going this way. I don't know why I got confused by that section. I mean, I'm sure you can get up there. Super jumping with Luigi is ideal, although also you could probably use Peach some way. Like flying off of the other area. In this section, we're just... Oh! The star! <laughs> There's a lot of cherries in these parts. They de definitely encourage you to get a star, so that way you won't have to worry about the Shy Guys changing levels. In fact, I believe we're almost there now. Oh, It's so odd how they hit you from above. And uh, down that section there is a key, which we need to then bring back up, avoiding the Phanto that attacks us and bring it to that door right there, which I believe will lead to the world boss. Now, the door, or sorry, rather, the, the, the Phanto chases us. There are a bunch up there, but the one who actually comes after us, it's always right next to the key. And, and only one of them seems to move at a time. It makes me wonder just how curious, or it makes me curious just to how, how deadly the Phantos could be if they worked in packs and all chased after you at once. There should be a ROM hack about that. Oh, a star. There we go. Actually, with the star, can I kill the Phanto? Oh, and of course it ran out as soon as he's triggered. Alright, now we just gotta make it back up, which is a lot easier than digging down. Especially since you can... 
Uh, especially since the Shy Guys won't be going down too many holes, except for the ones that the Cherries are on. But I don't think any of them are level with holes. Alright, now a boss area. We just run and run and run. Oh, I jumped into that guy. I don't know why I did. Oh, man. This is just quite the barrage of enemies, and it's a mean face. I don't know what that's about. Again, an area we just kill a shy guy. It's like an execution. It's awful. Anyway, through the bird. I was worried that those were gonna hit me, so I ducked. But here we have another new type of boss. That's something that this game excels at, is different kinds of bosses. Instead of just constantly dealing with Bowser and not even really fighting him, just kind of going to the axe after him. But this game, we, I, 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 is this game, is this guy's name Triclide? I think it is. Anyway, the, the deal with this, uh, as I was saying, the deal with this guy is that he's just shooting fireballs at us, and the goal is to uh, get these platforms to hurt him. Now, normally you could just, you know, walk up, throw a platform just like that, try to get him over with really quickly, which I suppose since I'm at full health, or I was, it may be optimal, but normally what I like to do for this fight is to just take three of these platforms, and make a barrier with them. Two or three of these platforms and just make a barrier with them so that he w because they block his fire and that way he just won't be able to hit you. But we dealt with him. We beat the level. Let's move on. Alright, bonus game. I get one chance. What'll it be? Failure.